So, what up, YouTube? We back. I think this is episode three, you know? Keep on rolling on that mission. How nice it is to breathe fresh after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. More, more. The How matter is choice, isn't this time it? Of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. <laughs> not much right, of the cold, right, it's you? cold. Oh, I do not mind the cold so much, but it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. I did. I oh, did. wait, over here. I often spot lace wing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? They are interesting to look at, but if you stew them, you can also use them in potion making. Oh, let's take it. Then. Right, those flowers are like quacking at me. Like dogs. Look, from the forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder hippogriffs. if something started them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Why do they already make That's the forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students. As the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah, there's Hogsmeade over the crest. Past that ruin. Harry Potter. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. I'm gonna scoop up all those shrooms. We all make stuff for that. How are you settling in? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about oh, the I still miss my homeland, but it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new friend Mr. Moon. Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss on I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys, Dudley and Arian. Mm, terrifying. I should be in the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A Debbie, guys. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they oh, are, but we can get stuff such, off of it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. Plenty of 
And here we are. Word. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Well, the let's get it. He said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcrafts, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. Word. See you soon. Ah, oh, double book. To the potion shop. We can buy some Harry Potter drugs. Welcome to J. Pippin's Potions. Ah. I steal your gloves. I heard you had the good stuff. Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes as yeah, so I also have already made drafts for all manner of uses. And I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Hmm? But for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? What can I do for you today? Potion making is sorcery. Um, can I get health potions? Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory. Or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Uh, we got no money. So, um, that might be a problem. Word, word. Can we make stuff? No. Uh, Cool, cool. See y'all later. So Tones and Squirrels is next. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts, Professor. Pardon me. 
Matilda uh. student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. Word, word. And I, too, see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station. Yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Yeah, that'll work. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's that look sounds at have, shall we? If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my infantry. Don't. We'll just take what's for you. This is the magic knee. The magic knee. What is that? Booking it. Well, hello there. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds. Pardon me. For me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively really no, me to... Yeah. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neap. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. Grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what say we get you a packet of Dittany seeds? Let me guess. You're after something fresh. Do have a look around. Yes, sir. Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. All right, we're good. Now we gotta get a wand and I think. Oh, 
，啊，那我我实在了。Coins. All the vendors. Damn, we broke. Merlin's beard. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, hello, sir. I'm looking for for a new wand. Yes, it's about time. Yes, about time. Well, you're our new fifth year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Olivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Olivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Yeah, give me the perfect no, 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 wand. No, no, no. <laughs> um, ah, yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. I heard they make these wands out of Hollywood. Well, go ahead, swish. Hmm, how odd. Uh, once Magic more, wand. On, really swish it. Oh dear. Well, this isn't a good match at all, is it? <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> think that's the right one. I'll find you something not to worry. No, not you. Uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Oh, 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 oh goodness! Looks like it's back to the shelf for you. <sighs> These this ones are trash. So. Anticipated. How perplexing. Um, where are you? Perhaps you. Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. So you are horrible like at picking one. ones for people. Here, take it. It's gonna blow up. This wand is trash. What do you think? I guess I fool. Another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you, just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Interesting. I would imagine so. A wand with a dragon heartstring core is capable of dazzling magic. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. That witchcraft sounds wonderful. Well, that's everything. Better go and find Matty. Harry Potter, he's a sorcerer. I guess let's meet our friend. I have everything. I see what you meant about not being able everything. to make a favorite shot. Everything. I have everything. <laughs>
We should walk around a bit more. Perhaps today is the day I finally pick one. Oh, it's a uh, ogre. There's more of them. Got to go away. Invoke ancient magic. Goodness, a second troll. Did you two take on a fully grown troll by yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard. Are you all right? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that? The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are an aura, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you, again. Repair. You got repaired. Repair. 
All done. We were just talking about you. Hello, sir. I there didn't even met. Allow me to introduce myself, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. But I can offer you something much more useful. I own Gladrag's wizard wear and among my Pretty cool. are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, Thank let's you. try this on for size, shall we? Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. What an extraordinary introduction to Hogsmeade. I would say that we, and you in particular, have earned at least one butterbeer. Shall we head to the three broomsticks? The hell from the like devil idea. drink is Wonderful. butterbeer. Just come this way then. I sell even more battle-worthy items. Should you be inclined, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your leisure. I would, but we're we're kind of broke. We're poor. Freebies only for now. Assuming it is not too busy, you might even meet Serona, the owner. She is a charming hostess and a powerful witch. Maybe Which one will become a, a rich sorcerer. All right. Let's keep it moving. You said you could get to the Chug when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who is this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. The devil child. Did they see us? I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Vanrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the Looks like trouble of it. It's a treat to see you, Lord Gok. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Oh, demon. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one, single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. My pleasure. I will say, trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. Is that a man? Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <coughs> How timely. Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? <laughs> Your clientele's not what it used to be, Serona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, 
My friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butter beer forever. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. A troll? Trolls, Ranrock and Rookwood. What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. They're trolling me. I think that now might be a good time to head back to the castle. Let us go. Oh, we stayed here this long. It's like dark already. I am certainly glad Serona was there. And that she isn't intimidated by thugs like Brookwood and Harlow. I want to understand what's going on. And I hope you will tell me. But for the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley will certainly hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. I don't want her to worry. You know, we don't want her to worry, alright? That was a quick trip back. All right. An owl post. Interesting, interesting. All right, though, guys. I guess we're gonna end the end the, this episode here. Uh, it's gotta be like at least a half hour or so. So I'm gonna see y'all next one. Peace. I'm out.